Okay, welcome back to our Zoom Shui. The first Sunday every month already for more than two years we are doing this. And I'm really excited each time you because we have new people in here and we have people that are coming back almost every time and I'm very happy to have you. And uh, yes, we are a very special uh, group of people with a special mind and we are the fighters for the good, which I call it. Um, for the new people and also on live stream on Facebook, I never know who sees us and who sees us later on. Uh, I'm Annette Halfon, I'm Feng Shui Master and uh, also I'm an entrepreneur. I have my own startup, um, New Chakra Meditations, which at the moment they are a healing app that you can download. We'll speak about it later. And we are we want to do it in virtual reality. So you will be not imagining, you will be in the picture, it will be something amazing, and we are working on it. Okay, so before we start, I would like to get your attention to get yourself into your center. And for this, I would like you to put your hands under your navel under your belly button about two inch lower and simply concentrate on this spot it's called the sacral chakra Okay, so again, thank you for coming in. And I muted you all now, but I would like you to be interactive. So if you want to answer, please uh, just press the star button or unmute yourself. Okay, and uh, please, when you have questions, don't be shy, just answer it. And Yes, you can also write me in the chat. I have it here open in front of me, so I see when you're writing. Okay, so let's start our presentation that you also see something. And there we go. Let's share it. Okay, and perfect. Okay, now you should see what I see. And we have their energies all around us. We are influenced by them. Okay. So we can either we can enjoy them or we can fight them. That's our choice we have. And we rather enjoy them. So let's see how we do this. So we always have energies and they're always heaven and earth together. Okay. So we have heaven and earth in the year. We have heaven and earth in the months. We have heaven and earth each day. And according to the constellation of all of these energies, we can see what's happening in the world and a little view into this um, sea of the world I want to give you today. So the heavenly energies are the five elements starting from the water water is giving nutrition to the wood the wood is burning into fire the fire burns down into the ashes to earth in the earth we have the metal build and under the metal we have the water streams and according to this cycle things are happening in the world now we also have the earthly energies which you know a little bit better probably these are the the 12 zodiac animals, starting from the rat. We are in the year of the rabbit, of the tiger. Next year it will be the rabbit. Okay, and so on. It's going according to the cycle. So that's just for my newcomers that you know what we are talking about. 
and we still have people coming in and probably will have a little more. Uh, all of this will be recorded in our Facebook group and I also put it in our websites and it's also in YouTube. So you cannot miss it. And if you like it at the end, um, you're welcome to share it with your friends and to come back next month. Okay, so now let's see how the energies are this month. This month, come on. Okay, in September. September starts according to the Chinese on Wednesday on the 7th, okay? They don't start at the first, it's always between the third and the eighth, sometimes the ninth even. So on the seventh on Wednesday starts the rooster. Now look at the rooster, what comes into your mind when you see this beautiful animal? He wakes us up in the morning. A little bit louder, please. He wakes us up in the morning. Uh, yes, he can be quite loud. Yes, you can't miss it. Perfect. What else? Look at the beautiful tail he has. Look at the colors. Look at the, what's it called, the crown. Has a great strut. And what? Has a very strong presence. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When the rooster comes, he definitely knows to make an entrance. Okay. I, like, I like what she said about the strutting. He struts. Yes. Yes, definitely. Now, look at the rooster. He also has a peak and he has claws. What could this show? Knows how to fight. Oh, yes. And the rooster, he knows also to initiate a nice fight just for the fun. Okay. <laughs> My second daughter, she is a rooster and uh, she has two roosters in her birth uh, constellation. That means, oh, yes, it's never a dull moment with her. <laughs> okay. When she was a child already, she couldn't walk. She only had to jump and to run and uh, the energy of the two roosters and a lot of things um, and everything has to be stylish, has to be beautiful. That's why this month we are going to have a lot of parties, a lot of festivals, you know, Rosh Hashanah is coming up. Okay, especially the rooster has the, the celebration in it, but it also has the fighting in it, discussions, fightings, okay. So let's see what we get. Let's see the whole constellation. Come on. Okay. So we are in the, the whole 2022 from February on until the next February. We will be in the water tiger. So the water is one water. Our tiger, all the animals, they also belong to one of the five elements. So our tiger belongs to the wood. So we have one water, one wood for the whole year. Now every month we have a new energy coming in. In September we have the earth, one earth, and the rooster. Rooster belongs to the metal. So if you look at the constellation of our five elements, one earth, one metal, one water, one wood. Which one of the elements is most under attack? Which one is not balanced? Fire. Fire? Exactly, exactly, the fire. You see here, um, the wood would be nutrition for the fire, but Water, what is water doing to the fire? Extinguishing it. Exactly. So if the wood would start one, the water would distinguish it. And what is earth doing to the fire? Putting out the fire also? Or, exactly. Yeah? So actually we have a double attack on the fire from the water and from the earth. Now fire in our world. What does it mean? 
What is it in our practical world? Anger. Energy. Excuse me? Anger. I said anger. I said yes. energy. Yes, definitely too with our emotions. So it can be either anger, can also be excitement and happiness. Hmm. But if the emotions are under pressure like this, you are right, uh, it's going more into the anger. Okay, what else can it be? If you stay already with the body, so it's emotions, what else? What is the fire in our body? Rashes, heartburn. <laughs> yes, yes, the rashes, they come out. The stomach, intestine, um, digestion. No, that's more earth. We get to this. Fire is the heart and the blood. Oh. Okay, so very interesting. So a um, lot of people lately have problems with the heart, myocarditis, um, uh, blood clots, and all of the things. Definitely has to do with the attack on the fire. Now, if we leave the body, what in the world also is connected to fire? In the water? The, excuse me? Water? The water? What, what do you mean? Oh, fire, firearms? Arms, fire, oh, fire shooting, yes. Police, and, military. Um, somehow I don't hear you well. Can you please repeat? When you say fire, are you speaking about military or? Yes, Please. yes, can be military, can be fire, like wildfire we have at the moment in California. Forests, volcanoes. Yes, yes, it also can be a fire attack. There was tonight, there was an attack on a bus in the, in the Jordan Valley. Uh, luckily, nobody was uh, hurt, but nine people are injured. Um, fire definitely in all kinds. Now, fire is also a stock exchange because it has to do with the emotions. So it's not the best time in the year to uh, put all the money in the stock exchange. Uh, fire also has to do with air. So everything what's happening in the air. Okay, you know, all these uh, flights, they get canceled and um, traveling and all of this uh, air. The main thing with the, the air travel, there's problems. Okay, so these are the main subject. Now, let's look at our Earth. Is our Earth strong or not? Not. Exactly. Why not? Because it needs the fire to fuel it? Yes, the fire would be the mother or is the mother of the earth. Okay, and we don't have fire, that means the earth has no backup. And what is the wood element doing to the earth? What is wood doing to the earth? Think about the big um, roots of the wood conquering the earth. It means the wood is controlling the earth. The earth has no backup. Uh, the earth is supporting the metal. That means our earth is totally um, burned out, I would say. Uh, what does the earth stand for? Grounding. Stomach. Here we come everything that has to do with digestion and stomach. Yes. Uh, also reproductive um, systems. Female, the female. Um, yeah, yeah. A attack on the on the female um, on Mother Earth. Yeah. Yes. Now the earth also is the element that gives us the stability. Okay. 
So if there is an attack on the earth, and this is actually what's happening all over the world, uh, there is at the moment no stability. Okay, and there is an attack on everything that has to do with food, with our food. Earth is connected to food. Uh, it's not in the news that in Holland for more than a month already, the, I think it's the second month already, the farmers are on the streets and they are demonstrating because they want to take away their lands. They want to force them to give up their farms and they want to kill their animals. Uh, the same thing is in Germany, but the, until the Germans, they get uh, on the streets, it takes much longer. So there is a definitely an attack on our food sources. Should keep this in mind. Okay, now our metal is um, actually okay because we have the mother earth supporting the metal. Metal is supporting the water, which is good. Wood is, water is supporting the wood, perfect. So our strongest element is the wood. What is wood standing for? Think about a tree. Stability, strength. A strength. Consist yes. Consistency. Always growing, always growing, developing. Uh, wood uh, is determination. Just imagine a little uh, plant can break the concrete. Okay, that's a determination that only the wood element has. And what happens if you cut the wood? It could possibly sprout again. Exactly, exactly. This only the wood has the ability, if this way doesn't go, it grows from the other way. Okay, so, uh, and this is our strongest. Now our de determination and also the tiger, look at the tiger, um, that's a very strong wood. And our tiger also has uh, strengths and aggression built in. Okay, and this is the strongest element in the year. Together with the rooster, which has a huge ego, and has the claws and uh, the peak and knows exactly how to start a fight. Interesting combination uh, that can easily explode because we have the pressure on the fire. So it won't be boring, that's for sure. Okay, but we will take the rooster into the, from the positive side, let's go and uh, make the best out of it. Now, let's see what for who this month is very special it will be a great month to the friends of the rooster who's the friend donna here we go there everybody born in the year of the ox now for all my newcomers the years that i wrote here they start 4th of february 49 until the 3rd of February, 50, okay? The same with every year that I write here. So 61 starts in February until February 62. Okay, so do we have oxen here? Yes, I am. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, me too. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, the dragons. Yes, dragons, they are the, first of all, they are the beloved animals by the Chinese. And they are, they almost can overcome anything. Very hard to catch a dragon. Uh, again, from February to February, okay? Do we have dragons here? No dragon? Just thinking about this one famous dragon. He had uh, four dragons in his chart in the year, in the month, in the day, and the hour. And that was uh, President Mubarak from Egypt. They tried to kill him. I don't know how many times they didn't succeed. They put him into prison and he succeeded even to get out of prison. 
Okay, so the dragon is really flying off. Okay, and we have one more sign that is great this month, the snakes. Okay, always from February to February, you know this already. Okay, so this is, these are the lucky ones. Now, let's see for whom it's going to be a little bit more interesting. Okay, you know, for the whole year, uh, interesting year, it's for the tigers, for the monkeys, and for the snake. But this month, the snake has a good month, so the snake um, is a little bit off the line. But tiger and monkey is for the whole year. Okay, challenging month means if the police is standing in a corner, if you are a monkey, or tiger, they're waiting for you. Okay, there can, 100 cars, they can pass, they don't look at them. If you come and you're speeding or you don't uh, watch the, the, the stop or anything like this, they catch you. So this month, it will be the rabbits. Here are the years, from February to February. Okay, there are the rabbit years and because of the character of the rooster, because the rooster can get into troubles because of his ego and fighting and inciting, also for the roosters, they have to take it easy. So what can they do in this month? First of all, everything, take it easy. Don't exaggerate in anything, be cautious. And especially for the roosters, don't let your ego get you into any fight, verbal or otherwise, okay? Not this month, it's not the wisest thing because two roosters together, it's called um, self-punishment. So dear roosters, be nice. Okay, social and romantic months, yes, almost, Every month has um, also a social and romantic aspect. So if you're single, you might be uh, more outgoing and might have the chance to meet somebody. If you are in a relationship or married, this is a month that you can lift up the spirits and make it a little bit more romantic again. Okay, so for all born in the years, this month that starts on Wednesday, for the monkeys. Okay, here are the years of the monkeys. Okay, do we have monkeys here? Oh, no. okay. And the rat, here you have the years. Yay. Good, good. And uh, it's really a romantic month, a lot of uh, festivals because also the dragons, wow, the dragons really have a good month. They really, they got a checkpoint. Okay, so for all of you, go for it. Go for it, it's great. Okay, a special blessing. Blessing is, there are people that are born with blessings and, they, and everybody has blessings in a certain times. Okay, that can be a year, that can be 10 years in your life, it can be special days. Um, by the way, when we are doing a personal chart, I can tell you which days are your blessings and which days you have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, a blessing, I just this morning, I did a consultation and um, the lady, she had a little car accident. She was driving home at night and was tired and she hit a parking car and um, the camera of the street just uh, caught the scene and I saw this. Um, so she hit the car and she almost flipped over, but the car stabilized and she could hold it, not, nobody was hurt. And on the picture, you could see a spirit orbs, a whole cluster of them. It was amazing. 
spirit orbs are spirits that that helping spirit that you can sometimes you can catch them on a camera and here they were and i just saw this picture he had other pictures they were not there on one pictures we could see it and this is exactly a blessing in a time when you need it you have to help somebody is watching over you okay who gets this blessing this month everybody born in the years with a six in the year. So from February, February on, okay? February 36 until February 37. Get it? 1966. Let's say uh, from February 66 until February 67. Okay, and everybody with a seven at the end until including the January with the eight. Okay, do we have people with a blessing here? Yes, me. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Good, for Good for you. Okay, Thank it's you. always great to have. And so be a little bit aware, maybe next uh, month you can tell us what was your blessing. Okay, I'll pay attention. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, we still have people coming in and uh, if you want to see the beginning the whole thing is recorded and live streamed so we have it on our page in facebook and we have it uh, i will put this recording in our websites in both of them and it will be also in youtube so you can't miss it and if you like it please share it with your friends it's uh, amazing information by the way, I told you we have a copycat in uh, Eventbrite. I saw somebody is now doing the energies for the month also. Okay, now let's get to the feng shui, to the home. Okay, uh, now, doesn't matter if you live in an apartment building or in a private home. When you get out of your home from the entrance, okay, you go towards a certain direction. Now, we all have this smartphone. Okay, Not this one, but uh, a smartphone. On the smartphone, there is a compass application. You open it up, then you make the eight movement a few times. And then you look when you go out of the house here, you would go if this is the south, it tells you south. Okay. If you go out here, it tells you go to the northwest, it will say northwest and so on. So if you are building your house is facing, when you go out, you go towards south, northwest, north, northeast or east. Lucky you. These energies are good. These directions are good for the whole year. A little bit ups and downs, but in general, it's good. Okay, so where I have good energy, yeah, Which I have one? another good energy coming in, that's great. If I have a good energy, a bad energy is coming in, ah, it's a little bit. Okay, but if I have a bad energy and a bad energy comes, that's really bad. Okay, so now if you are facing one of these, that's good already. If you go out and you face the West, for the whole year, there are some legal issues. Okay, it doesn't have to be that it's the IRS that comes to you. It can be parking tickets, uh, uh, a bill you paid and they suddenly they send you, uh, you didn't pay. Stupid things like this, annoying things like this, they have to do with some legal issues. If your house is towards the Southwest, like, our house here, health issues. I mean, I did all the corrections there possible, um, but it's funny, uh, the kids had Corona, uh, I twisted my ankle, now my husband, he twisted his knee, uh, stupid little things like this, but thanks God, everything is fine. Uh, we can cope with these things, okay? We are getting to the corrections in a minute. If it's southeast, there is betrayal. This is very easy to correct. Okay, now, 
for everybody who is here already for two years, uh, so you know my corrections already. For the health issues, we are putting the, oh, these are all the corrections. For the health issues, we are putting the coin string. By the way, I told you I don't have any more. I got a new bunch today. Okay, so I have new ones if you need them. Um, so we put the corn string there for the what's head a, issue. What's a corn string? Um, it's a Chinese uh, symbol. It's metal coins on a string. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you also can use other metal that you have. Uh, this is the traditional uh, charm for it. In the West, we have these legal issues. What we put there is a glass with a plant in water. The Chinese use the lucky bamboo because the lucky bamboo, it's called lucky. You can put it anywhere and it mostly survives without much um, treatment. And in the Southeast for the betrayal, we simply put a plant, that's it. But the corners where we have the negative energies, we try to keep them quiet, okay? Because anything that activates a candle, a lamp, a, a machine activates either good energy or bad energies. So where I have here, like say in the health, the southwest corner here, I would not um, light this, this uh, lamp here. Simply keep it quiet. And then it's okay because it's a corner here, nothing uh, happens. But here, the legal issues in this case are a balcony. Okay. Where I have negative energies, I also have accidents. In this case, I would not leave my kids, especially small kids, alone out there. The chances that they start fighting and they make nonsense is bigger than in other years. Okay, so it's not very wise to use this balcony too much in this year. Okay, in the southeast, we just need the, the plant and we are good. Nothing else. Okay. Now, as we said, negative energy, we keep them quiet. Good energies, we want to activate them. That's for the whole year. You leave these things in place. Now, every month we have different energy coming in on top. Let's see how they are. Come on. Okay. So, first of all, in the middle, the number four. What we are doing here in, um, if we, uh, in the study language, we, it's called flying star because the, the energies are like stars, they are flying around. And always there is one in the middle and one on each of the, um, of the directions. So when four means betrayal. So we have the betrayal in the middle. It is not in the house, it's like closed in, but it gives the, the subject of the whole world. That means this year, this, months, we are having the number four, betrayal, gossiping, going behind the back, stepping in the back. So keep your mind open what will happen in the news. Okay, What betrayal we will uh, experience. On the other hand, four is also young women. Okay, um, about 18, 20 young women. Um, let's see what's happening, what you hear in the news with young women. Very interesting. So now, on top of these um, problems in the West, the Southwest, we have this month in the Northwest, the worst energy. Worst is really bad. Northwest in the world is Canada and um, North California. Okay, so in here, in the apartment, it's a bedroom. So they will get a bad energy in the bedroom here. And I would not put this uh, night light on this month. 
Okay, just keep it quiet. Keep the energy quiet. If you want to correct it, you correct this one with metal. Any metal, you can use some coins and salt. Just for this month. Okay. The so next by, salt by itself or salt with water? Uh, you can put it in a glass because glass is also uh, water energy. We use the water, metal and water here. So you can put it either in a glass or you can use uh, Himalayan salt as a stone alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can put uh, a glass with, uh, with water and some salt in it. That's up to you. In the Northeast, we have the legal issues. Now, in this case here, it's the bathtub. That means I would not leave my small kids here alone. Again, where we have bad energy, accidents happen, okay? Um, and actually that we have water here is good because we need here uh, the water energy. So also uh, salt here for the legal issues or simply not using the bathtub in this month. In this case, your apartment, you have to change the directions according to your situation, okay? Okay, and this is for September, all we have to do. Uh, and we have in the East, the health issues. So that's very interesting. So keep your mind open. What in China is going to be with health again? Oh, so we have, uh, if you see it worldwide, we have a problem in Canada, uh, North California. We have legal issues in Russia. We have health issues in China. Interesting, interesting. Okay, now we want, we don't want to sleep with our head towards a bad direction. And when we sit working, we don't want to have a bad direction in our back. Uh, I'm sitting here with my back here towards the northwest, here, northwest. That means tomorrow already I will change my my desk here, we'll have to. And uh, our bed, luckily our bed is on wheels. So we are always, uh, every month it's moving place. Sometimes yeah. it looks funny. And then uh, I, have a, I have a quick question. So my office and my bedroom are all, both on the West and my bed is ginormous in the bed and it's on the North, in the northwest corner of my house and my office is in the southwest corner of my house so okay. and my my back faces the west is that correct uh, if your back is towards the west for the whole year that's a little problem that's so problem. how do you adjust for that uh, simply move it a little bit offside get that the west is not directly in your back okay Okay, if you're sitting with the back to the southwest, where do you uh, want your? Because we have the you... health issues, so you have to take more vitamin C. If you are a person with uh, health issues, I would move the place. So would you move your? So do you want your back to face the north or the? At the moment, right for this month, the best energies are in the south. And the best energies are in the north. These two, the southeast is okay. It's not good, it's not bad, it's uh, neutral. So uh, north and south are the best for this month. So you can either sit with your back to the south or with your back to the north. Perfect. And then, and then for sleeping, you want your back to the south or to the north? Um, yes, for this month would be best. My bed is to the south. The south this month also has money, um, which we all want and need. Uh, so, and this south and north are also the areas in the house where we put important papers. If you have uh, work file things, they can um, turn out good. They can turn bad. Okay, so like court papers or things like this have them move them every month to the best energies and 
this month, the best is north and south. Okay, now also for the bed in general, we have um, to consider also the personal directions. Uh, everybody has, it's either good for us to face or to sleep with our head towards uh, south, north or east, or southeast. And there are people, it's better for them to sleep with the head and uh, facing the west, northwest, southwest and uh, northeast. So, um, but still, for one month, in this case, south and north still have the better energies than the personal directions. Okay. If you would like to know your personal directions, uh, send me a WhatsApp or an email with your date of birth, and I tell you your directions, which is in generally good for you. Okay. Okay. Yuhu. So we can activate the good energies and the bad energies. The bad energies, we don't want to activate them. That's why we keep them quiet. But the good energies, we want to activate them with anything that moves. Moving is a candle or a crystal in the window or a clock or charging a phone, using a, put the coffee machine there, the mixer. Anything that makes noise and burns and makes tick tac and is connected to electricity is activating. Okay. I have a question. What about um, Zohar books? The Zohar books, actually, we put them on the negative energies because they're protecting us. Yeah. Okay. So this year, um, uh, at least the number seven, the Mishpatim, goes into the West, the legal problems. Uh, if you have the little pinchas, um, you can put them uh, in the southwest. I have one in my southwest windows um, as a protection, or you can, uh, for this month, you can move them around. Okay, you can use them as protections. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, the calendar, most of you, you know my calendar already, it has two phases. By the way, the new calendar is already ready. Uh, it's getting printed this week. Also the yearbook. So um, I'm happy that I finished this. That's always my August work. <laughs> so we have two phases, the general level and the personal level. The general level is the colors. I put the energies of the year, the day, the month and the day, and I'm turn it into a color. When you mm -hmm. see purple, it means too much fire. Okay, so you have to be a little bit sensitive because people are touchy of fire or you can get burned, things, anything that has to do with fire. Like we talked before, if somebody has a high blood pressure on purple days, you have to watch it. How can you balance a high blood pressure when you have too much fire? What do you have to do? No, I don't. I think I'll see it. Okay. Uh, uh, stay stay calm. You, take it easy. First of all, take it easy. What element is balancing the fire? Wood or earth? Exactly. The water and earth. Exactly. Water is putting it off. Earth is absorbing it. Great. Great. Okay, so on these days, actually, you can drink a beer because beer is carbohydrates, um, it's earth. Or drink water, or go to the sea, or take long showers. No, not too hot. Okay, we don't want to enhance the fire. We want to keep it down. Perfect. Uh, yellow is wonderful. Green is busy good. Brown is too much earth. What happens when too much earth, it's getting heavy and falls down. Okay, so on brown days, don't climb on a ladder because you can fall down. Okay, things are heavy. The stomach is sensitive and, uh, and it's a day that you feel like eating the whole day. So be a little bit uh, proactive, uh, make a light diet, uh, but try not to fall or things are falling out of your hand, actually. 
Um, okay, tomorrow is a blue day, blue Labor Day. Blue is actually a day that is not so practical. It's more thinking, it's good for meditation. It's, uh, it's more mental, it's less power to do things. Okay, and then we have the red days. Red days means the energies in general are clashing. Okay, so clashing means um, there will be worldwide more accidents. Today, uh, the monkey day, because we are in the tiger year, that's the big clash, monkey and tiger don't like each other. So there are accidents. I was driving this morning, there were two accidents on the way, luckily not on my side, so it doesn't, uh, there was this attack in the Jordan Villa uh, Valley. So all the things, when something happens, uh, very often on the red days, it does not mean it's a bad day for you. Okay, like uh, today it's red, it's monkey. A uh, red means for some people, it's not so good. For me personally, the monkey is a blessing. Okay, so if you're doing the chart, I will tell you, um, red is a blessing or the monkey or the ox for everybody it is different so for me i don't have to be afraid of the red because i know monkey is a blessing but for other people it might not so so if let's say uh, there would be a, a have to go um, surgery or something on a day like this i wouldn't take a red day because it's a good day for me but it might not be good for the others. Okay, yeah. so uh, you come there, the doctor doesn't come, the computer just falls down, things like this. We don't want to, uh, we don't need this on important days. So it's an amazing tool. And um, each year we have more and more people, uh, they are enjoying this. Okay, uh, and my new guide, my new feng shui guide is out and uh, Actually, I'm going to have the, the second edition already now. It's in the printing. I get it next week already. And this is my startup, U Chakra application. It's a, a healing platform. It's using the, on the seven chakras. And at the moment, it's only an application that you can listen to. You can download it in Google and App Store. Our goal is to do it virtual reality. And for the re virtual reality, you will not imagine the, the place you will be in it. Something wow. amazing. I did it uh, once, a friend of mine, he let me use this and he put me on a mountain. I mean, I was standing in the middle of the room. Beforehand, I was walking around, everything fine. Then he put me on the mountain. I was on top of, I don't know which mountain, I could not move my eyes to look down. And I'm not afraid of heights. It was so real. Our brain, yeah. it's, uh, this is a game changer. We can really, healing with virtual reality is something amazing. It gives confidence. It gives power, support. It can overcome uh, all kinds of problems, mental problems. Um, my the granddaughter of my brother-in-law, uh, she is 13, 14. She was the first time uh, going alone abroad uh, last week. They had a competition in uh, Czechia. And uh, she was, of course, she was afraid first time. And uh, there were only two Israeli kids uh, going there. And I told her to use the application just to listen before she goes to sleep. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. She came home with three medals, three medallions for this little girl. It's, and you have it free. Just go on your Google app, download it on your Play Store and enjoy. I have a, I have a, I have a testimonial. I downloaded it this morning and yes, it's lovely. And your voice is so sweet. You have the sweetest meditations. Oh, Nicole. I, it's so I so recommend sweet. it highly enough. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
And if you know anyone knows people, they are with the same head than we have. I cannot take something like this to the shops. I cannot. I, I don't want. Okay. Um, if you know people, they have the means, they have the mind to support this, to make the uh, virtual reality happen, to help people in the real world. I don't want to leave them in the metaverse like uh, everything uh, as if. I want to help them with the brain that they can conquer the real world and overcome problems here. Well, so please um, connect us. It will be something amazing. And we are getting there. Okay. You can uh, contact me, email, uh, WhatsApp. Um, this is my WhatsApp number. Okay. You can reach me all the time. If you have questions, please be welcome. What is your number uh, that's my whatsapp number what is it uh, um i also have a new american number but only when i'm in the states oh okay okay um actually i got a new one i okay if you want to write it down when i'm in the states it's 818-585-9825 Nine eight five six, and, and when are you going to be around here? Eight one eight five eight five nine eight five six. And are you planning to come soon to to, to United States? Uh, I will be in the. I'm planning to come um, the end of October twenty six. I'm coming to Los Angeles for two weeks. Then I'm invited to uh, uh, Austin, Texas. Wow. Okay. Well, and then I'm going to Florida. When, more or less? Uh, Florida, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it will be um, about the 22nd, before Thanksgiving. Okay, November and 22nd, okay. Okay, and uh, afterwards, uh, maybe in New York. This, um, I didn't get feedbacks yet, but um, that's the plan. Okay, then I'll, I'll see you in, uh, in Miami. <laughs> with pleasure with pleasure okay in miami okay. we also have uh, two lectures already um, that we will have okay let me the, uh, let me know the information send it to me if you whenever you okay. have some time Great. okay thank you okay thank you monique so now because there it's a month that also has celebration and it's uh, it's a very uh, happy month for shoshana that's why we concentrate on our second chakra, which is under our belly button, the sacred chakra. And I want you to put your hands there again. Okay, we are going to make a little meditation for our sacred chakra to get more happiness. your sacral chakra, it feels like an orange point in your stomach. Your hands can feel the warmth. It's the warmth of a fire. It's warm, it's beautiful, it's heartwarming. It's orange, your orange color, orange flame. It's warming and it's moving. It's moving in cycles. With the clock, small cycles, you can feel it. It's like pressing, it's coming through your hands. It's coming out of your stomach. It's turning and it's a happy color. It's orange, bright. And you feel like you want to dance. You want to move with this fire. It's spinning you around. It's really getting faster and higher. And you have to laugh, you have to smile. You feel the excitement, you feel the happiness, and you are allowed to be happy. You are allowed to enjoy and to be excited. You had a difficult time and now you are allowed, you are free. You can turn and spin and feel like a child. 
yes, you are allowed to be happy. And you can feel this warmth. It's taking over all your body. You feel warm. You feel everywhere like your whole body is smiling. And with this smile, I want you to take it into this evening, into this month, into the holidays. And I wish you the most wonderful months, easygoing, positive, exciting, with loving energies. And thank you so, so much for coming today this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you again in a month. So enjoy the holidays. Keep the smile on your face. And each time when you need a little bit of happiness, concentrate on your second chakra, on your sacred chakra. Okay. Or use the app and you have the sacred chakra and uh, three other much more going into the deep meditation there. Thank you so much for coming in. And Thank you. Hope to Thank see you. Thank you, Annette. Have a great month. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.